guys, welcome back to another video. This time I'll be filming a everyday makeup look that I usually do on days that I don't feel like packing on a lot of makeup and it's my uh, easy makeup look that I do. Um, it's been a while since I've posted a video, almost like a month I think since I posted a video on this channel because a lot has been going on recently and a lot of stress as well. I don't want to talk too much about it but to clear out some things um, I've been trying to travel to see my boyfriend and I couldn't be doing that right now because of the travel restrictions and it's so frustrating when you have a family member or a loved one somewhere else um, it's hard to, like, be with them, especially in this kind of situation. So, um, yeah, I don't want to get too much into it, but that's what's been going on, and I'm really trying to be able to be there, you know, with him and specifically, but, uh, yeah, I hope, I hope things get better soon, and... So anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this video, and uh, I'll talk to you guys later. So I have just done my face prep basically by scrubbing my face or cleansing and washing it then moisturizing it and then now I'm basically putting on my foundation I'm using the Tarte Found Sealer and now I am putting on my concealer from Maybelline these two go really well together on my skin and give me a semi what flawless finish and I really like it excuse the text in the next clip here but I'm um, basically using the buckwheat skin food press powder and this one is a pretty old one so I hope it's still okay but um, just mattifying my face here because I do not like um, dewy looks on me it just doesn't go that well so yeah next I'm gonna be using this uh, skin lights powder in lavender from Revlon just to correct my skin tone to not have any more redness on my face and then I'm gonna be using the Can Make Shading Powder, and this is just like to shade my face a bit, give it a bit more color, but not in other places like my jaw because it gives me this awkward line, which I don't like. So I'm just shading it around the temples of my, um, around my forehead and my nose and underneath my lip to make my lips a bit more plump. And then I'm gonna be moving on to brows. So for brows, I'm gonna be using the Walnut Brown uh, Pencil by H&M. And this is really nice because the tip of the uh, pencil is really thin. So you're able to sculpt your brows to exactly how you like it to be. So here I'm just filling it in and outlining the brows to the desired shape that I like and using the spoolie to brush out the hairs. Then for eyes, I'm gonna be using this Can Make Cream Shadow. It's basically this really pretty brown color and I'm just gonna be putting around my eyelids as a base color. And I really like this product because it's so versatile. You can use it in a lot of different ways. And I'm just also um, lining my under eye. And then I'm going to be using a warmer brown or slightly lighter brown tone to shade around my eyes. 
and putting some sparkle in my inner corners as well. And then I'm going to be using the Can Make Mascara for my eyes. Then I'm just going to clean out the mistakes I've done here. Then I'm using this 3CE Cream Blush. It smells really great. <laughs> Then I'm using a blush brush to blend it out. Then I'm going to be using the Can Make Powder in a maroon color to make it more vibrant. Then finally, I'm just moisturizing my lips and putting on lipstick. And that is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoy this video and tune in next time. Bye.